Hello everybody and welcome to the Ump Friday Social with me, Billy, your roundup of the latest trending topics and social media news over the past seven days. You all ready? You all good to go? <laughs> we begin this week with some sad news. The Obamas have issued their final Christmas card at the White House. That's right, this naturally led to thousands of Americans be devastated and pretty much realising that the Obamas will have to leave. And so much so that the hashtag don't leave has been trending all week on social media. Obama set to depart the White House on January the 20th to make way for, well... This week, one Sunday Times journalist, Francesca Hornock, has managed to enrage the entire blogging community through one column entitled 24 Hours with a Beauty Blogger. The piece straight up mimics the lives of bloggers and online influencers, and people did not like it. Such lines from the column include, Oh my gosh, my outtakes are getting so many likes. I guess my followers just appreciate that I'm a normal person. 10am Starbucks, posting my eggnog latte, hashtag Christmas, hashtag goals, hashtag red cups. Although rather amusing, it was quite offensive and people did not like it, including Tanya Burr and Sam Chapman. Over on YouTube, vlogger PewDiePie, or Felix Kjellberg, has pulled off what has been called the biggest hoax in YouTube's history. Earlier this week, the Swedish superstar announced to his 49 million subscribers that once he hits 50 million subs, he would delete his channel from the site because YouTube was apparently trying to kill his reach. However, it was then revealed that this was all a hoax and once he reached that 50 million mark, he did nothing really, not a lot. To some Facebook news now, and if you thought those horribly awkward Facebook Live videos of your old friends were bad enough, they can now be done in 360 degrees. You're welcome. That's right, at an Oculus Connect event, Facebook announced that soon you'll be able to capture Facebook Live videos in a beautiful 360 degrees. I mean, that's pretty cool. And rounding up this week is some pretty exciting news coming from Snapchat. At number one, they've recently teamed up with Shazam, meaning that you can now hold down on the app's camera when you can hear a song, and it'll instantly tell you the song title and artist. At number two, they're releasing a new scissor tool, which allows you to cut parts of your snap into a sticker. And at number three, they've released a brand spanking new group message feature. Soon you and another 15 other people could be snapping away in your own little group. And I do not want to know what you'll be talking about. Oof. That's it from me for this week, guys. But thank you very much for watching. Now, I'll be back in January, so have a wonderful Christmas, an even better New Year, and I'll see you very, very soon. I'm off for a mince pie.